everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to uh, my new viewers. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you as a new subscriber. Uh, please click on the subscribe button below or the Anne Makes in the corner of the screen there. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Today is the second part of a Dollar Tree haul that I did. In the first video, I tell you that the, I did this Dollar Tree haul. It's been almost two weeks. It was in between uh, two trips that I was I went on. And yeah, I just did not have a chance to film uh, a decent video up until now. So here we go for the rest of the Dollar Tree haul. It was a really big haul and I, have to, I had to split it in more than one video because it just takes too long. Uh, to upload to YouTube and it's kind of insane and yeah. So uh, I picked up a lot of things for Halloween DIYs and crafts because I do a lot of that on this channel too and since I do a lot of those DIYs and how to's for the clients I have and the uh, manufacturers that I work for, I always need stuff. So I love going to the dollar store to find stuff. <laughs> I picked up a few more of these orange pumpkins. I did post a video very recently about how I altered uh, these little punk, some little pumpkins like this into some black kitty cats for Halloween. So I'll try to link that here. So I do have several of those pumpkins for several DOI. I do like buying the little scarves at uh, Dollar Tree every once in a while. And as a matter of fact, I am wearing one today. It's not from Dollar Tree. This one's from Dollarama, actually. But the t-shirt is from Dollar Tree. So I, I just, I love picking these up. They're so cheap. And they just make my t-shirts <laughs> pop up. And often I, I just like to wear these really inexpensive t-shirts when I'm working in my studio here because I do get very messy. I do spill stuff on them, splash stuff on them. And then I don't feel so bad because I really didn't pay a lot of money. And then I could just throw a scarf around my neck, put on a jacket and go out into the world and look semi-decent. The jacket usually covers the paint splashes. <laughs> So one of the little scarves I picked up because I had seen uh, Sandra show this in one of her hauls for a few weeks ago. I was dying to find this at my Dollar Tree and finally it showed up. It is this scarf with the orange and black kitty cats and jack-o'-lanterns. Now really they are pretty short scarves when you think about it. So maybe I should have bought two. Hmm. Anyway, I'll see how it fits and uh, yeah, hopefully if I go back they'll still have more. I also picked up this beautiful blue one. It's a gorgeous turquoise color, really, uh, with these Day of the Dead or Sugar Skulls on it. Such a fun, fun print. So I got those two little scarves to add to my extensive scarf collection. Now I got this classroom pointer finger. I'm pointing the finger at you. <laughs> On the pink handle of course pink and I just thought this is so much fun um, there are so many times someone in my family asks me where's something so now from here I could say it's over there it's over here or there <laughs> or also maybe on video I can point to things and say look over there <laughs> but it's also a good back scratcher it's decent. yeah it's not bad for a back scratcher so there we go I got this classroom pointer finger Thank goodness it's a appropriate finger. All right, so what else did I find? Oh, as I was cashing out, I saw this. Uh, it is called Rory's Story Cubes. Make your very own Batman story. Story Cubes. So they're a bunch of dye with images from Batman. Uh, you've got like like a kapow on there. You've got the Joker. I guess this is a bad guy. You've got this Gotham. You got, anyway, I think that's the inside of the Bat Cave. So I don't know. So this is supposed to be a game whereby you use the die to 
make a story. So I thought this is great with kids or any fan of Batman. Uh, when you've got some time to kill, uh, you can play this little game. So I got a couple of these. I don't want to open them up because I'm going to use these as stocking stuffers at Christmas. And I just thought these were hilarious. Uh, yeah, it's make your very own Batman story. So it's a little game and I thought, wow, Dollar Tree? That is pretty awesome. Makes for a fun stocking stuffer for sure. Now, I mentioned in the first part of this video that this Dollar Tree is one of the two Dollar Trees that I live the closest to and that I shop at regularly. And they have a policy that they tend, they try not to throw out stuff that unless it is beyond uh, use are expired etc and they do clear do have stuff on clearance they try to clear it out uh, first and they do uh, donate a lot of their stuff to various charities in the community and so I picked up some of the clearance items they had these little tombstone boxes I remember seeing these last year or two years ago and they were only 25 cents. I already hauled one of these in the in the past, but I picked these ones up because I thought, well, there is a crafting potential with these. I could also I could always um, cover up the box, make it into another type of little box for a gift, or maybe for storage. I was thinking this would make kind of like a little drawer storage, but it's not really a drawer because it goes like this. But anyway. Uh, I just thought for 25 cents, the potential for altering things is amazing and it's so cheap. So I picked those up. I uh, needed a, some hand soap. Whoops. Uh, so I picked up a bottle of hand soap. Uh, the Black Cherry Merlot was the last bottle on the shelf. I don't know if they have any more of this, but I really like using this in uh, our bathroom. So I got that. And I had bought this spray repair and finish uh, from Vidal Sassoon Pro Series spray repair and finish for your hair. And I was supposed to bring this in my suitcase, but I totally forgot it at home. So I still have it. <laughs> so I haven't tried it yet. I don't know how it, how it works. If any of you have tried this product, uh, Vidal Sassoon Pro Series repair spray repair and finish. Uh, let me know what, how you liked it. I was lucky enough that this Dollar Tree got some more of the decorative mesh because the first time I had been to the Dollar Tree to buy, to look for some of these, someone had beat me to it just before I'd gotten there. They had bought out the entire box of decorative mesh. I mean, they must have had some pretty big projects in mind, and uh, there was nothing left. So I was fortunate enough that the, this time that I went back, they had another box. So I got some more in the orange of this decorative mesh to make some wreaths. And yes, I got a few rolls of that for my wreaths because I had like two, a couple of rolls already, but I knew I needed several more. I also picked up this little ball of knitting yarn in this bright orange just to have for some Halloween projects. Uh, maybe I'll make little pom-poms, I don't know, but it's just a right, the right color for Halloween decorating and so I've got that. Uh, here's another package of those orange tea lights that I like to use in jack-o'-lanterns and other candles and lanterns for Halloween decorating. I got this roll of ribbon i i was really drawn to the color it's like a rose gold a very sparkly kind of ribbon uh kind of color for this ribbon so i got a couple rolls of this just because i really like the color and i thought it's something that i would use in different types of projects in the first part of this video i said i only bought one one of the colors of this new Jot acrylic paint in tubes. Not true. I made a mistake. I actually bought one of each color. 
I already have enough acrylic paint. What was I thinking? Well, I was thinking I just want to try them out. So I have to have one of each color, of course. I just can't get just one tube, right? So this is what I did. I did get one of each color. I probably intend on getting just the white, but then I just, yeah, I better have all the colors. So they, it comes in this purple. It comes in green like this, this orange color, this kind of red, kind of red berry color, and uh, black. I think that's it. And oh, here's a different orange. There's darker orange. This is what the first one I showed you, lighter, darker, and white. I already, I guess I got two tubes of the white. I don't really remember because this has been a while, so. Uh, yep, yeah, so that was new. Also, the uh, Multicraft has this series of living in color craft products where the idea is that you color uh, whatever project it is. They have stickers like this, they have canvases, and they have these wide rolls of decorative tape or commonly we refer to them as washi tape. And so the idea is that they are in black and white and you can color them on your own, make them any color you want. So this is the one, this is one of the tapes I chose. Uh, this is a Christmas theme one with presents under a tree. And here they show you an example of it colored. And the other design I picked was the one with the stars. And this here, they just show these yellow stars on a blue background. But you can color whatever color you want. And I just picked up two of these. They have so many different kinds for the holidays. And I think I still, I have, I just have so many tapes. And I just didn't want to go crazy. So I limited myself to that. But knowing me, I'll probably go back and get one of each. Here's, oh, another paint tube in blue. So these Jot acrylic paints come in lots of different colors. Uh, here's a, another roll of the ribbon. I showed this in the first part of the video. Just lovely uh, ribbon with these gold feathers on this white mesh to be used in lots of DIYs. I also picked up this black rope. It is poly rope, so yeah, it's like a poly vinyl type of rope. And I bought this especially just for decorating outside, for tying stuff down for our Halloween decorations. So we'd have that. And I actually got two of them uh, because I, when I have to wrap stuff around trees, uh, our trees are pretty big. And I have some columns outside my house that we like to hang banners and stuff. So there's the columns are big and the distance between them is, is substantial. So uh, I wanted to make sure I had enough rope this year. So I got that. Here's some stickers that I found. Oh, actually, I picked up this one because of my recent trip to uh, Bethel, New York. I want to keep this for my scrapbooking weekend with my girlfriends and I will probably make some scrapbook pages about my trip, my road trip to uh, New York. So I got that. I picked up another one of these craft and gold matte stacks uh, from Creativity Inc. There's six sheets in here. I just think they're really nice papers to, to use in projects and card making and oh, so many types of projects so got that and they had some of these planner type stickers that had not shown up at my dollar trees until now uh so i got this one in blue i mean get quite a lot you know you get 55 pieces of these lovely stickers there's lots of labels in there and lots of you could, don't have to use these for planners. You could use this for anything, for card making, for gift giving, and this, uh, a book. If you make books, these are great. And then I also got this one, because I really like the, I thought this was like really masculine looking. And I just thought this is great for when I'm making stuff for my guys. Um, yeah, I just really liked these colors. 
So I got that one and I picked up just one. I was very good. Just one of these puffy stickers in 3D uh, for holiday trends. These are for the Christmas season because I just thought these guys were so stinking adorable. These woodland type, woodland type of uh, Christmas stickers. Look at this little fox, the snowman. Just, just gorgeous stickers. And I have no idea what I'll do with them, so that's why I just got one. I picked up some of the Crafter Square mounting tape that come in 48 pieces. Uh, this is great for mounting stuff, uh, for decorating, for the holidays, for any time of year. And yeah, you have so many things that you got to stick, <laughs> stick to stuff. So yeah, that's what I got that for. And oh, here's a little package of Craft Medley, the uh, wood shapes, laser cut wood shapes. They have so many beautiful designs. What a good value, 30 pieces. How can you go wrong with this? Uh, this is also from Multicraft here in Canada. Great, great product, great, great importer of products. So very happy to promote them. And I also got some other designs that they have. I got the little owls. I got the laser cut wood shape. Uh, I'm stalling here because I'm just looking to make sure. Numbers. A bunch of numbers. Oh, and music notes. I was really happy to find music notes. So many uses for these little wooden shapes. You can paint them. You can stain them. You could stick them on anything uh, that you're making. And I also got some of the gold strips. Now these are, they're cut perfectly to size for so many projects. Whether you wanna put a band on a card, whether you wanna make like a rosette here, you just wanna make a little sign, uh, they're perfect. And often, uh, i that's what I need. I just need a little bit of gold for a background that I'm making or something something that I'm making so that's why I got these I know I could cut a sheet into strips but hey the work's done for me and I got 32 pieces in here and it all cost me a dollar 25 so it's worth it uh, oh uh, this Dollar Tree had some of these key ring clips that I had not seen at my other Dollar Tree so I picked these up these I like to use in making uh, of course, keychains, but also making tassels. And then you can tie them onto whatever you have. Um, and you can decorate your purse, you can decorate your planners, you can, so many things you can do with these. And my goodness, what a great price. What a great deal. Get five pieces in here. Can't beat that. And what else? Oh, here are some more laser wood cut shapes. And these are basically punctuation. Question marks, uh, exclamation marks, ampersands, uh, multiplication, little asterisks, uh, the symbol for and. So, yeah, fun, fun stuff. And they had some of the capital alphabets. So I got that. I don't know if I had more. Just more music notes more leaves. I really love the leaves. And yeah, that's it for those laser wood cut shapes. I did pick up a package of these Holiday Essentials glitter clothespins because they're loose. Or deer? Are they deer? Or they might be reindeer. And this glitter, glitter little reindeer clothespin clips. I just thought these were really cute. Oh, in the health and beauty aisle that they have, where they have the children's uh, bubble baths and bath toys, they had these little finger puppets. They had so many different kinds of little finger puppets. And there was one little lion, and I just thought, he's got to come home with me because I love kitty cats. So I got the little lion and hopefully I could stick him in some sort of uh, project that I have. But little finger puppets for when you give your baby a bath. How cute is that? 
I, oh, another thing I forgot to bring with me. I purposely bought this so I could clip this to my purse and bring it with me when I went to New York, but I completely forgot it. Anyway, it's a, a retractable pan with carabiner. Just because I'm always looking for a pen and uh, yeah, and I was looking for a pen on the weekend <laughs> the whole time because I have forgotten to bring this thing. So yeah, just a, a pen with a clippy thing that you can clip onto a bag or you know, whatever you have and you always have a pen nearby. Great for people who depend on having pens with them, especially if you work as a nurse and you're always writing things down on charts or uh, anybody that has to constantly write stuff down and needs a pen. So, yeah, I got that. Now, in the automotive aisle, I thought this was a really neat, neat find. These, they call them inspection mirrors. Helps you to look into hard to reach places. So it's a little mirror, so I'll just show you like this. Okay, and it, it it's adjustable, it does, you can pivot the head by uh, loosening up the little doodad here. Oh, you just fold, you see? And so the idea for this is that if you need to work in your car, you could see inside those tight little spots. And the handle, yeah, so it has a clip, so you can basically clip this to your pocket or whatever. And it does extend to, I think it says 19 inches. Yeah, it extends to 19 inches. So what a great little doodad to have in your garage, in your car, in your uh, toolbox for checking stuff out. If you are a DIYer, uh, you do your own repairs on your car or home repairs or anything, uh, what a great little doodad to have. So you can see basically around corners, uh, you can see behind yourself. It's a very small mirror, but the idea is to fit into those tight little spaces and to see things that you normally can't see just by looking like this. So uh, yeah, I just thought these were really handy to have. So I got two and I will be putting one in uh, the toolbox and I will be putting the other one in our garage for any type of fixing thing we have to do. And finally, I just bought a couple bottles of hand soap for my boys bathroom, the Clark and Danver in Ocean Fresh. Uh, it is a scent that we just we just love to use and that is it that is finally it for my huge dollar tree haul here that i did in september late september and i want to thank you so much for watching thanks for supporting my channel please give this uh, a like a thumbs up please comment don't forget to share and uh stay crafty and i'll see you after the next video bye